Right now it's in the 50s. It's like 56 degrees in Indianapolis. And good morning, Tom Britt. How are you? Good, good morning, friend. Mr. Smiley. It's good to see you. Everything in. How was your week? A nice week? Yeah, I got up early this morning. This was like 3 o'clock. What were you doing? Well, Carmel High School's got a homecoming time. Oh, okay. And they, all the classes built. Do you have children? Houses. Yeah, I've got children. Do they go to Carmel High School? No. Oh, okay. I'm just helping out. Yeah, he doesn't have children. He just really loves going to <laughs> high school sports by himself. Whatever, well, creepy. Well, yeah. for the At Carmel magazine, I kind of need to be there for that. Oh, okay. Stuff. So we're doing an auction. We're auctioning off five playhouses tonight. They're going to come out at halftime tonight and show them. But every class and then faculty made a playhouse, a four by six wooden playhouse. Oh, wow. And so I had to get them up on eBay this morning so we can auction them off. The auction starts at noon today, by the way. So if you're interested. Oh, how about that? Cool. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's kind of fun for the kids. And sure. the kids were having a great time. They were partying and painting stuff. And it was stuff everywhere. But it was uh, kind of like a holocaust when it was over. This junk <laughs> everywhere. All the parking lot yeah. was nasty. I see you got your bongi shirt on. How do you say it? Is it bongies or bong boongies or bong? I think it's bongies. Bongies? Yeah. I'm like, that. it's a great restaurant. This guy though, was named Chuck Bongi was his name. The guy that owned it originally back in the 40s. Out in Perkinsville? Out in Perkinsville. Yeah, Pride of Perkinsville. It's good. It's good food there. Yeah. Okay, Tom, what you got for us this weekend? <laughs> this weekend is just crazy busy. So is we'll it? Good. See how much we can get through here. Of course, the headliner tonight, Cancer Sucks Party. KJ. That's right. Yes. KJ Sucks Party. Hey. <laughs> oh, I mean KJ's Cancer Sucks You're Party. You're close. Thank you. <laughs> but that uh, starts at 7 at Champs, and uh, I did bring the gift basket for you for our Vines for Life uh, phone raise. So that we're doing in two weeks. Thank you okay. very much. Yeah, it's at the Yacht Club. And... Um, also, the, uh, speaking of wine, because we mm -hmm. brought you a nice wine basket for tonight, the Indianapolis Wine Fest is in two weeks at Military Park, and thanks to WZPL, you guys can save five bucks if you use the promo code WINE, wine. to check out. I saw that oh, at, nice. I saw that on our website. I yeah. like wine. That'd That's be, a great deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, I think tickets are like 27 bucks, and if you go online and use that promo, it goes down to 22 That's, That's not bad. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not bad. If you like so, wine, yeah. yeah. So remember, our, our vinesforlife.com is on Friday night the 30th, and then Wine Fest is the 30th and the 1st of October. That's a lot, That's of, a lot wine. of wine, yeah. A lot of wine. <laughs> a lot of sulfites in the system. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also have some concerts this weekend. The Frey are tonight. Yeah! At Hall. Frey! Uh, you got X Fest tomorrow at Verizon. Oh, Big X -Fest yeah! Concert tomorrow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I love X Fest. WZPL's X Fest. It's every year. A lot of ecstasy going on there. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think that this is a rock show. I don't think they do ecstasy at that concert. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you also have Earl Scruggs tonight at the Palladium. Who? Think Who? Earl Scruggs. You guys know this guy? He's a no. bluegrass uh, kind of guy, older guy, real no. old guy. Sounds terrible. Well, you you got a hundred fifty million dollar facility in Carmel, and you bring in Earl Scruggs. <laughs> I can't figure. They've out. They've got some great uh, shows going to that Palladium, though. They I still haven't got out there to see it. You haven't seen, been there seen yet? the venue now. Oh, he's got to go in there. Beautiful. I mean, from the outside. Go see. I've driven by. I'm sure there's tickets available. Uh, also, the Colts home opener is Sunday at 1 yeah. o'clock. Yeah, go Colts, go Blue. Blue. Browns come to town. Hopefully we can uh, have a better performance yeah. than we had last week. Let's hope. Um, and if the, you guys have tattoos on? Um, no. 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 No tats? No back tats? This is a tat-free zone. All right, well, tattoos today. You got one? Down. Do you have one? No. Okay. I like temporary ones because they wash off. Yeah, all right. right. <laughs> but Tattoo City Underground is hosting, for the first time in 10 years, a tattoo convention at the Primo Reception Hall in Plainfield. How about that? Yeah. That's all weekend. And yeah. guess who's going to be there? Um, I don't know. Governor candidate Rupert will be there on Sunday. He's yeah. going to really? Is gonna be he really running for governor? Yeah. Really? He had a tie on and everything. Yeah, yeah, I saw that press conference, but I haven't heard much about it since then. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a caveman. The Libertarian Party, actually. Mm -hmm. think. Yeah, Libertarian. Yeah. So good luck to you, Rupert. All right, Indiana, I'm your new mayor. <laughs> He'll have all the tattoo votes. <laughs> yeah, he will. Rupert, the, uh, the state has spoken. Uh, put out your tours. Uh, Beach Grove party tomorrow in Beach Grove from 4 to 11. Isn't there always a party in Beach Grove? Not really. Really? I think this is like the only one of the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> I've never brought up a party in Beach Grove before in my life. Uh, headliner Larry Crane at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. That's free, by the way. In Broad Rope, we got the Jazz Fest wrapping up tomorrow at Opti Park, which, if you don't know where Opti Park is, it's in. Uh, it's over by the Indianapolis um, Arts Center. You should call it the Beer Park. I only go there when there's beer uh, festivals. I think that's the only thing they do there. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the only thing they do there. Yeah, the bands were just kind of a sideline <laughs> distraction for yeah. the beer uh, drinking. That's, that's tomorrow. And on Sunday, 
You guys like uh, urban chicken yes. farming by chance? Oh, yeah, I do. Anybody mm -hmm. into that? Well, yes, yeah. love it. Yeah. Here's an event for you. Urban chicken farming and cycling, the Tour de Coupes is calling your name. <laughs> the Naptown Chickens, which are aspiring backyard chicken farmers, will host a three-hour bicycle tour of chicken coops in Broad Ripple in the surrounding area. Just check in. There are in a lot of chicken coops in Broad Ripple? Evidently, there are. Enough to have a tour. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are getting into like putting chicken coops in their backyard. Now, yeah. guys, that's against our covenants. There's no way you can put chicken coops in the backyard. I was going to say, like, that's a... But in Broadway, well, I guess it's all free-for-all. I was driving through What are they doing Avon? with the chickens? Yeah. They're, they're raising them. Eating them. Eating the eggs. I'm listening to you. Okay. Eating them. You, KJ's sorry, having no, a conversation with Britt, and I'm having a conversation with Will. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, Will. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, I'm saying they, it seems to be kind of a fad that people raise chickens. I was driving through Avon. Avon. Yeah. There's free range chickens in a yard. Just running, just like, walking like around. Chickens by the road, like eating stuff by the side of the road, and they, they're just out. They're yeah. just like free range. Isn't that chickens. crazy. Yeah. I guess what what do people do that? Is that just because they want to save money on eggs? Yeah, that's a whole. Which are eggs? Things. I, yeah, it's like a buck. Buy some eggs. Or something. Yeah. Buy some eggs, people. I know. I mean, the, the noise. Go to the grocery store. Every morning, get the normal roast, people. Rooster crowing and stuff. It's nasty. a lot of maps, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. switching Poop. gears. Switching gears. Going back downtown tomorrow, the Fiesta Latino Festival. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo -woo. Yeah, about 30 I've actually been to that festival before. Yeah, that's a big festival. Yeah, yeah, it's good food. Ricky Ricardo shirt, you wear that? No. No. Well, it's, it's from noon to 11, so I'm glad I asked. Uh, noon to 11 tomorrow, uh, Irish Fest starts today. Oh, that's through right. Sunday. They've been in here talking all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love Irish Fest. Yeah, it's down at Military Park. Um, come and see over 20 Irish bands hurling matches on Saturday and run the Kilted Mile on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Yeah, they also... I'm trying to talk my husband into that. He doesn't, the he doesn't want to wear the kilt, but he doesn't want to run a mile. <laughs> <laughs> they got sheep herding over there at this festival, too. I remember seeing that last year. Yeah. yeah, they got sheep herding mm -hmm. going yeah. on. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Right? The Irish Festival. And then at Geis tomorrow, the Geis Lake Coalition and Miller Coors are hosting a Geis Cleanup Day around Geis Reservoir. If you're interested in helping out, just show up I tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> show up tomorrow morning at 8.30 at the Geis Marina, and we'll put you in a boat and put you to work. How about that? I love that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Picking up sludge out of the lake. Yeah. I'm hoping you give me some work to do this weekend. Thank you. Put some skis on and have some fun while you're at it. And St. Vincent's hosting two safety days this weekend. they got one tomorrow in Carmel at their uh, Carmel Hospital from 10 to 3, and one on Sunday in Fisher's Hospital off of Exit 10 on I-69 from noon to 4. I'll be there uh, on Sunday. And we talked about the Carmel Homecoming stuff. That's it. That's all I got. Thank you very much. If you want um, your stuff uh, posted, go to what is it, townpost.com. Yeah, if you want to announce on the Smiley Morris Show, go to townpost.com, and who knows, maybe I'll mention on the air. That's maybe. Town with an e, post.com. All right. Uh, coming up next week on the Smiley Morris